we're just coming up to the end of the first day and I think some of the key trends that we're seeing evolve is just a lot of excitement around CTV and the rise of addressable TV in Europe. Um, each stand is talking about their capabilities um, of delivering programmatic CTV yield. Um, Publica by IS is here talking about our capabilities to help streaming publishers and TV OEMs build linear like TV ad breaks. Um, there's a lot of great innovation from those on the buy side. Some of the tier one DSPs are here talking about their AVOD and FAST capabilities. So it's, uh, it's great to be back again. And I, I think this is certainly one of my, my most favorite ad tech conferences uh, on the agenda this year. The topic of frequency in CTV ad breaks, uh, it's one that's still discussed a lot on the ad tech circuit. To answer your question, yes, it's absolutely possible for streaming publishers and TV manufacturers with advertising businesses to manage frequency in their ad breaks today. However, it's a question of ad serving capabilities. They have to be working with an ad server built from the ground up around CTVs. Companies such as Publica by IS that can help them construct linear-like TV ad breaks. And what I mean by that is giving those on the buy side the ability to manage frequency, understand the position within the, the ad break, um, to manage things like contextual clash, so they're not going to run back to back with their competitors. But again, to answer your question, it's absolutely possible, but you have to be working with an ad server that's been built up around the nuances of streaming and can support the latest in the OpenRTB protocols from the IB Tech Lab, uh, the latest spec being OpenRTB 2.6. Um, so again, it's all about the technology partnerships that the streaming publishers really implement that enable them to manage things like frequency. Uh, so several publishers have actually asked me that, that very question today. Uh, look, Paul, we're, we're launching an advertising business, a fast channel or an existing TV service, and we want to supplement our direct sold with programmatic. What would you recommend, Paul? Um, my answer is always it's pretty similar, dependent on, on where they sit geographically. The first thing they need to do is look at their ad serving capabilities, make sure that they construct those they can construct those linear-like TV ad breaks. Uh, secondly, is understanding how they auction their inventory. Um, are they implementing a unified auction? So the theory of header bidding, but for CTV. And then thirdly, it's what type of SSP partnerships do they have? SSPs are crucial to driving programmatic demand to streaming publishers, but as we've seen over the last 12 months, lots of those SSPs are now forging strategic partnerships with the big agency holding co's. Some are doing preferred SPO partnerships. So if you're a publisher, it's about building the ad breaks that advertisers want to target. It's building the ad breaks that are not going to annoy your viewers, so you're not bombarding them with the same ads back to back. It's understanding the dynamics of your auction and making sure that you've got a true unified auction implemented and you can understand what's happening. So why one SSP might be bidding versus why another may not be bidding. And it's about working with the right demand partnerships, be that SSPs or DSPs directly, to make sure you've got that entire view of the programmatic buy side and then you can optimize your yield accordingly.